Hello friends, a fan gave us this question, so let's react to it together. Remember, each time such question comes, you have a lot to learn. So ensure to stay actively. So to answer this, just begin with solution, okay? This is just your simple exponential equation because of this power. So what you do is just to collect like them. So what we have there is 32 raised to the power of t minus 1 is 192. So we collect like terms. This is negative. So we're going to have it as 32 raised to the power of t is equal to add 1 to both sides to remove this. So we have 192 plus 1. Okay. So you are going to now have this will give us 32 raised to the power of t. Add this, you are going to have 193. Now your question is, is there possibility of expressing 193 to be in the same base with 32 so that we can easily find t or is there any possible base that these two numbers can share then if your answer is no you have to remember to use your logarithm now to apply our logarithm here we are going to take the log of both sides so we have log of 32 to the power of t is equal to log of 193 now, what do you do? Remember your rule of logarithm, which says that if you have log a to the power of m, it is the same as the m we multiply the log. So this is what the rule says. Did you see it now? So we're going to apply this rule in this solving. So to have this t, we now multiply the log. And this is going to give us t log 32 is equal to log 193 did you see it now so to get your t you are going to divide by the coefficient of this t which is log 32 so you divide this by log 32 and also divide this by log 32 and this cancels so you are going to be left with this is giving us t is equal to log 193 all over log 32. If you are allowed to use calculator, at this point you can easily use calculator to cue this value in and get the value of t in decimals. Okay. But if you are not allowed, join me and I will show you what you will do. So what you are going to do is to now simplify this again. So 193 is a prime number. And because it's a prime, the only number that can divide it is 1 and 193. So there's nothing to simplify here. But for this one, there is, okay? 32, we can express it as a prime factor. And 32, you know, is the same as when you multiply to 5 times. I hope you know that. We give you 32, which is 2 raised to the power of 5. So let's apply it here. We are going to have t is equal to log of 193 all over log of 32 has taken the shape of 2 raised to the power of 5. Very interesting. So this is giving us now t is equal to log of 193. Apply this rule here. Okay. This 5 we multiply. So we have all over 5 log 2. So what do you think you should do? You will now have it that this is the same as, let's take it to this part. So this is now giving us, we are having, note importantly that there is one here, which is the coefficient of this log. Very important. So if that is the case, this is giving us t as 1 over 5 log 193 all over log 2. This is the same as this. I hope this is clear. Now, why did we do it this way? I want to remind you of one rule of logarithm that says that if you have log A all over log B, let's break it down here. If you have log A over log B, it means log A base B. We call it change of base rule. Or change of base log okay now applying this rule here what do you have you are going to have t as 1 over 5 log do you see it now 
this a is 193 so we have 193 then this two is your b so it's going to be base two so this becomes the value of your t in a simplified form so this is our t so let's do a check to know if what we have gotten is correct so to that we are going to substitute this value of t into this function into this equation so to do this we have to check we have 32 raised to power our t is 1 over 5 log 193 base 2 did you see it then minus 1 okay let's see if it will give us 192 so what do you do what you need to do here is this 32 we can rewrite 32 as 2 raised to power of 5 as we have said earlier replacing 32 raised to power 1 over 5 log 193 base 2 then minus 1 did you see it so what do you think we should do again please this minus 1 is not a power minus 1 is on its own is a whole number okay let's write it well so we're going to now have that is if you get everything you get here you take one from it that's what it means so you have to get done with this one then you subtract one from your answer. I hope you got it. So what do you do now? Now, you will now see that when you have something like this, you see that your rule says if you have a to the power of m raised to power n, it is a to the power of m times n. So in this case, this we multiply. Remember, this is 5 over 1. So if it multiplies this, this goes and this goes, which is 1. So we have 2. And 2 raised to power 1 is 2. So it's going to be 2 raised to power log 193 base 2, then minus 1. So what we do here again is, you have to notice that the base of the log and this base are the same. And it reminds you of another important truth, which says that if I have log of A, if I have A raised to power log of P base A, Whenever you have this, this is the base, and this is the base of the log. It is always equal to P. So if you apply this here, you see that these two are the same. So it means that your answer should be 193. So it means you are going to have 193 minus 1. And when you subtract this, it gives you 192, which is what we have at the right side of the equation. And I hope this helps you. Remember, if you want to do well in this kind of question, you should be familiar with your exponential rules and some of the rules of your logarithm. If this really helps you, please help us to share and let us know how much in the comments. Bye-bye.